Hi, this is a video about butterfly jewelry with the emphasis on rhinestones and butterflies. I'm um, just going to show you a few pieces. I'm not going to make this a long, drawn out video. Um, here is a vintage green rhinestone butterfly pin. And I checked on the back. I did not see that there was any signature. Oh, yes, there is. It says Wise. There you go. I don't know if you can see it. Wise or Weese. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. But I'm going to say Wise because I just seem to like to use that pronunciation. Okay, so there's that piece. Here's a similar piece. Um, not sure if that one's Wise. I don't see a signature. And this one has multicolored rhinestones. Here's another set right here. Um, this one is blue rhinestones. And this piece is not signed that I see. But it does look a lot like the others that I just showed you. So it could be wise, just an unmarked piece. Now this set right here, this is wise. Let me get closer. Okay, this piece is wise and... The butterfly itself is not marked, but the matching earrings that go with it are. So, apparently why it didn't, you know, sign all their butterflies or their pieces. But a lot of times you can tell it is a matching set based on the earrings. And again, those are marked on the back, as you can see. Um, butterflies have been really popular for years. Um, this looks like a vintage piece. This has, I guess you would call it mother of pearl. And on the back side, I am not seeing a signature. Um, but it's definitely vintage. Probably 60s, 70s, I'm guessing. This is an Avon piece. And I don't know where it's signed, but I do, I do see this. Yeah, I do see, see it in the middle now. You can kind of see the Avon. Um, I do see this piece for sale quite a bit, especially on eBay. It's a fun collectible piece, and it's a good starter piece if you're trying to get a collection started. This is a piece I recently acquired. Um, from a yard sale and I paid probably no more than five dollars for it and I don't think there's a signature on it but I when I priced out similar pieces on eBay um, I did see that they were a little pricier than five but what's nice about this is just the multicolor rhinestones and the turquoise bead accents it's a small piece but it's a significant piece because it's so colorful. Um, so th these are just a few. Here's a rhinestone, blue rhinestone. It looks like a newer piece in my opinion. This piece here, I think I got this on eBay. If I didn't get it on eBay, I got it in the state sale. Um, this piece is not marked. But you do see this piece quite a bit on eBay if you do searches on large rhinestone butterfly pins. This one's like a pinkish purple. Um, cute, cute piece. I don't know what this is. I think it's, yeah, I think this is a butterfly. Um, there's a center green stone. It's kind of translucent, which really gives us an eye-popping look to it. Uh, this piece is apparently not signed either, but still a cute piece. Definitely vintage. I would say maybe this is more like a maybe 50s, 60s piece. Another rhinestone piece with multicolor stones. There's actually missing a stone on this one. This piece is not signed. Enamel. Enamel butterfly. And here's another multicolor stone butterfly. 
Um, there's some wear on the back. Um, typical when that piece is old and it's not been cared for, you know, really well, it could um, tarnish on the back or the patina gets ruined. But there are some stones. None of them appear to be missing. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.